The Hope Lives Foundation is a local organization that is making a huge difference in the lives of young adult cancer patients. Last week, we introduced you to the two men who formed Hope Lives after beating their own battles with cancer. In this week's In Search of Report, we give you a look at just how big this endeavor has become. Take a look. In 2008, Johnny Brevik knew if he survived his battle with leukemia, he wanted to do more with his life. I remember laying in the hospital bed on my first night there and thinking, uh, okay, John, if this is your last night, are you okay with how you lived your first 23 years? And I remember thinking, nope, I'm not good with where I'm at. And uh, if this was it, I would be supremely disappointed with how I spent 23 years. Years earlier, Garrett Giroux experienced his own cancer battle and also felt driven to do more, maybe help the next young adult in a department full of kids. I was um, the oldest being seen in pediatric oncology. I really didn't have too many people to talk to at all that were my age. That's kind of where the idea came for creating this program for people in the La Crosse community to be able to have uh, an outreach to work through um, start to finish with a diagnosis. Their introduction came thanks to pediatric oncologist Dr. Bob Edinger. They're both young leaders in this community and they both, based on their experience, want very much to give back. And so it was almost inevitable that they would meet. But no one, not even Johnny or Garrett, could have predicted where this new partnership would lead. Before their initial meeting, Garrett had received a $5,000 grant from the Gunderson Medical Foundation. And from that, a bump in the road was born. A support group and mentorship program for young adults impacted by cancer. The initial money that we got from the grant, that was meant to go out and as um, young adults get together, whether it was over lunch or breakfast or whatever, that that money would be there just to pay for the getting together event so that there wasn't a financial burden or worry. <laughs> Events like this one at Shenanigans, where you can surround yourself with people who just get it. And suddenly, the unknown is a little easier to face. Perfect. It's something really special. Um, we all have this special connection, and it, we're kind of like brothers and sisters. We're not, you know, it's, it's past the friendship. These are some of the most amazing individuals you'll meet. Everyone has like a different outlook on life, and no one takes a second for granted. But the mentorship program was only the beginning. Johnny got an idea for something even bigger. I had a great job, I had great health insurance, great family to take care of me. Didn't need all the financial help that everyone was offering and the, you know, the food and the, you know, different things that keep me busy, although the Sudoku books were appreciated. I didn't need all that stuff and so as we came to the conclusion of my treatment, I had always told people, we'll do something for a good cause. Then we started working on this party idea um, with Johnny that was kind of his um, celebration of beating cancer um, that was called Hope Lives Here. Pick whatever theme you want. Bring whatever silverware you want. Make your people dress up. Do whatever you want. Um, we thought that would just be kind of fun. And uh, as the years have gone by with this event, it's gotten much more elaborate and extravagant. The event was a huge success. We almost hit $60,000 in fundraising that first year. So the next challenge, what to do with all that money? The answer landed them back to where Johnny and Garrett first met, the pediatric oncology department at Gunderson that already had the perfect place for younger kids. But we wanted to do something neat in an area that was gonna work for teens, for young adults. It was dark. It was dingy. It wasn't very inviting or comforting. Garrett and I uh, worked with very closely with some project managers and construction engineers at Gunderson to plan out a renovation of the whole treatment area in the children's cancer area. Everything down to the fabric on the... Yeah, we went chair yeah. testing. We went to the recliner shopping and checked them all out. Yeah. Um, we, have good, we have good taste, I think, along I those think so. lines. Yeah. yeah, mostly. What is now known as the Hope Lives Foundation has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars 
The Boys and Girls Club's Adopt a Child program is one of the recipients. And a few years ago, the two organizations partnered for what has become one of the brightest events in town. Hi, Bee Cancer! Well, the Deke turned in to this big night, fun run walk Whoa! with a concert, a party, and all these things. I was able to have uh, Derek Deke Kroll impact my life from a personal level. And being it that he passed from cancer, it was an opportunity to do something really cool partner with a great group for a guy who, you know, went definitely before his time was and has definitely left his mark on many people here in La Crosse in our community. And funds raised there have helped several more projects, like a scholarship program for college students who have or are facing cancer, and a collaboration with the YMCA to physically help patients bounce back after treatment. We fund the Live Strong program with all the trainers at the Y. Um, we pay for the 24 sessions of that trainer and so they can get back at being normal. And speaking of the Y, thanks to a generous donation, part of the Lacrosse Y expansion will include a new home for the Hope Lives Foundation. We took a $5,000 grant seven years ago and through all the people that support us, we've now raised over 400,000. Um, in those in those years, so it's been fun to watch that happen. I really thought if we could just get fifteen thousand dollars, we would be able to have such a huge impact on the future of of kids' treatment here at Gunderson. And lo and behold, you know the community is so giving, and our friends and family. And if it were my last night now, I'd be okay with it. But for all the money and the events and the projects they've done, at the heart of this program is the reason it got started, to be there for those people who are right now facing the fight of their lives. So next week, in the conclusion of this special In Search of Spotlight, we're gonna introduce you to two young people that are currently battling cancer and all that the Hope Lives Foundation has meant to them.